afternoon. I'm Tim Dudley, Hillsborough County Office of Emergency Management Director. Thank you for coming. Joining us today are Commissioner Kimberly Overman, Chair of Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners, Bonnie Wise, Hillsborough County Administrator, Dane Castor, Mayor of Tampa, Nathan Kilton, Mayor of Plant City, Andy Ross, Mayor of Temple Terrace, Chad Cronister, Hillsborough County Sheriff, John Newman, Hillsborough County Public Schools Chief of Security and Emergency Management, Sylvia Vega, Tico Public Information Officer, Lisa Wolferson, Porter Tampa Bay Communications Director, Chief Tripp, City of Tampa, Fire Chief, and Chief Jones, Hillsborough County Fire Chief of Hillsborough County. As you know, we are under a state of emergency due to Tropical Storm Ian. I cannot stress enough the importance of being prepared. Over the next several hours, as the models of the storm solidify, we are anticipating making decisions regarding evacuations and shelter openings both may be required. We ask that you please continue to follow official government sources and media for the latest information. And be sure to follow all directives and instructions from local government. We always hope for the best, but we will need to do everything we can to be ready in the event we are impacted by this intensify intensifying storm. Rest assured, Hillsborough County is working very hard around the clock with all our public and private partners to prepare for this particular event and are doing everything we can to protect residents and property. As we've all seen, this storm is unpredictable. Don't rely on just the main forecast line and don't be complacent. The cone exists for a reason. Monitor weather, the weather forecast and make sure you know your emergency plan and your hurricane supply kits are prepared. Register for HCFL Alert, Hillsborough County official public notification system for emergency alerts and other vital information. Including road closures, it is available in both English and Spanish. To receive messages by email, phone, and text, go to hcflgov.net forward slash hcfl alert. It's not too late. Know if you live in an evacuation zone. Visit hcflgov.net slash stay safe for a link to Hillsborough County's Hurricane Evacuation Assessment Tool, HEAT. <laughs> which will assist in determining if you live in an evacuation zone. Get your homes and businesses storm ready now. Do not wait. Clean gutters, drain pipes, trim your trees, hedges if needed. Move patio furniture, bird baths, over, other lightweight unsecured items indoors. Items that can't be moved indoors should be tied down or otherwise secured. Hillsborough County Disaster Preparedness Guides provide immensely valuable information. It's available via hcflgov.net slash stay safe in English and Spanish and contains comprehensive information on how to prepare for any hazards. Make sure you have supplies of medicines and medical supplies for at least two weeks. That should include pets as well. Gather emergency kits, including flashlight, weather radios, batteries, water, non-perishable packages of canned foods, and non-electric openers. Don't forget your pets. They are part of the family, too. Make sure you have the necessary supplies, including crate, food, medication, proof of current vac vaccinations, registration tags. Take pictures of your valuable and carry important papers with you if you have to evacuate or scan them into a computer file. It also, I also want to share this important telephone number. Our main information line for the storm is 833-427-8676. 833-427-8676. 
please know that we are in this together. This is going to be a community event. We will get you through this. Be prepared. Stay safe. Thank you for your time. And I now invite the county administrator to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I am Bonnie Wise. I am the county administrator. And I really appreciate your time and interest. We are continuing to monitor Tropical Storm Ian. The storm is forecast to be a major hurricane as it approaches Florida. And as Tim said, we are taking it very, very seriously. We are under a state of emergency and we have activated our emergency operations center. There remains considerable uncertainty as to the storm's long-term range forecast, but we are working to make sure everyone is prepared for what will be a major hurricane making landfall in or near Tampa Bay in a few days. Residents should know, if needed, we have the capability to open several dozen shelters if needed, but we are trying to be strategic on which areas might need them. For example, we have identified which shelters can handle special needs, special needs patients, and we're making sure those are equipped to accommodate individuals requiring continuous electricity for life-saving medical equipment, oxygen, and other medical needs should it, needed, should it be needed. We always tell people that evacuating doesn't have to mean going to Georgia or even across the state. Sometimes it can mean staying with family or friends who live just 20 miles inland. Some of the work we are doing is physical. We know the areas with potential drain issues. We have had crews out cleaning ditches and making sure culverts can handle maximum capacity water flow. There are many other preparations involved when a storm is coming our way. Everything from making sure our generators and vehicles have fuel, to staging heavy equipment across the county for removing debris and other post-storm work. The county has 5,000 employees and we work throughout the year to make sure they know their role when activated for an emergency like Tropical Storm Ian. We identify the greatest needs and assign employees to those needs regardless of their regular duties. Our county operations will not open as normal tomorrow to allow our employees to know their role and to serve the public. We continue to work extensively with partner agencies, including the National Weather Service, TECO, the cities, Water Management District, HART, and many others. Everyone has a role, and we plan extensively for emergencies, particularly storms. We've been meeting regularly with those groups and will stay in constant communication during this emergency. Our message to residents is this, have a plan and be prepared to execute it. And that might involve evacuating. Remember, it is recommended to hide from wind and move away from water to save lives. Follow the updated weather forecasts, official government information, and media reports. As we say in Hillsborough County, the safest way through bad weather is together. Take care and thank you for your time. Thank you, ma'am. We'll now hear from Chair Overman. Thank you, Mr. Dunley. Good afternoon. My name is Kimberly Overman. I'm the chair of the Board of County Commission of Hillsborough County. And as Tim and Bonnie said, <laughs> Hillsborough County is prepared, along with our partners, to navigate a tropical storm. And this tropical storm, Ian, is a threat to our communities. Currently, Hillsborough County has sandbags and sites are open for distribution. Sandbags are available at Edward Medard Cons uh, Conservation Park, at 6140 Turkey Creek Road in Plant City, E.G. Simmons uh, Conservation Park at 2401 19th Avenue Northwest in Ruskin, and at Ed Raddus Sports Complex at 14720 Ed Raddus Drive in Tampa. We have a special machine that will take the sand and put it in the bags. That helps a lot. 
um, and our employees will even uh, put them in your vehicle. All this saves lives and saves residents valuable time. Sandbags are just one way you should be preparing. Now is the time to put together your preparedness plan. I cannot stress enough how important it is for you to stay alert and monitor the news outlets as well as Hillsborough County's social channels at Hillsborough County, Florida. Um, I appreciate your time. Everybody do their time and prepare for a storm. We look forward to uh, all working together to solve this problem. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We'll now hear from Sheriff Cronister. Thank you, Tim. Good afternoon, everyone. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is prepared. We are asking for all of our residents to be that good community partner and get prepared yourselves. I was just down at the visiting some of the sandbag sites and to every resident that was out there getting prepared, thank you. Thank you for taking advantage of a phenomenal resources to protect your homes and your family. During a storm like this, the number one killer is flooding. Our, our, our uh, area, our community, our county is already saturated with a lot of water. It's not going to take a lot to cause that flooding. So I say that because if an evacuation order is given, please heed that warning. You don't want to be that family or that individual that calls for help and us and our partners, first responders, can't get to you. Please, we don't want to see anyone lose their life over a storm. If an evacuation order is given, take your families and focus on their safeties. Take care of your loved ones. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, we will have an increased presence and we will protect your valuables in your homes. You protect your loved ones. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And we'll have comments from Mayor Castor. All right. Thank you, Tim. Uh, you know, here we are again in storm season. Uh, this happens every year, just about the time, as the sheriff said, we get saturated as much as we can, is usually when the tropical storms and the hurricanes start to come our way. Uh, tropical storm Ian, soon to be Hurricane Ian, is projected to be a dev devastating hurricane. We can't accurately predict where it's going to go right now, and we know from history, uh, from Hurricane Charlie that things can change on a moment's notice. And so we are prepared here in the city of Tampa. I would like to thank all of the partners that are behind me. We don't just meet when there's an emergency. We are in constant communication. We are in constant collaboration and we exercise, exercise, exercise so that we are prepared if the worst possible outcome occurs that we are struck uh, by a category three or four hurricane. So I want to assure the, the uh, residents of Hillsborough County and the city of Tampa and frankly the entire Tampa Bay area that we not only are working in collaboration, government, public, private uh, entities, but also on the state level and the federal level as well. I've personally had those discussions with our state emergency manager talking about the resources that will be staged uh, for us. So we are doing all that we can in our communities to make sure we've got our generators. We're checking on our nursing homes and ALFs to make sure that they have everything they need from generators to evacuation needs uh, with Heartline, the buses, with the school system to make sure that we have those shelters shelters that can take those with special needs, shelters uh, for individuals that want to bring their pets with them as well. So we are working on every single level, but we need you, we need the citizens to be prepared as well. If you're a resident of the city of Tampa, please sign up for at alert Tampa, or you can text Tampa ready to 888-777 or Tampa Lista to 888-777 for real-time alerts in Spanish. Also, tampa.gov slash hurricane. We've got all the information there. We will keep you up to date on what's going on with 
Hurricane Ian. Now, the one thing that we cannot control is Mother Nature. So what we have to do is control every other element that we can, and that means be prepared. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to thank the county leadership and all the leadership here throughout the county, and I especially like to thank all the employees and partners. We've been monitoring this storm uh, since it hit the radar, been in communications uh, with the folks up at the state. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for all the work that they've done now and the work that we will have to do uh, following any impacts that we may see here. And now we'll open up the floor for questions for any of the folks we have here. All right, none. So thank you. And again, all lean forward, prepare, and stay safe. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here.